We're here to enjoy a matchup that football fans are sure to relish. Which side will step up and deliver? It's all coming up next on EA TV. Hello everyone, we're raring to go. Our venue for this game is the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Bournemouth taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Lewis Cook, are winning back possession. And the starting 11 for Bournemouth. Well, although it's down as a 4-5-1, it's more likely to be three players in behind the main centre forward. And those three are key to this team's creativity. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Moises Caicedo. A good vision there. Well, he's such a classy contributor, isn't he, Christopher Mbungu? Stuart, I wonder what you think we'll see from him today. Well, Derek, in the last game, he was absolutely outstanding. It wasn't just the two goals that he scored, but it was his general play, his link-up play, his ability to run beyond defence, his ability on the ball to create. And I think we're going to see more of the same today. Chill well. And he keeps going. That's a useful cross. Struggling to get it away. Chill well. Fernandez. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be a high percentage option. Close though, Stewart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Senesi. Here's Kleibert. Solanke. Oh, great defending. Fernandez. Jackson on the ball. And Chelsea have given it away. A routine attack. Chelsea struggling to keep the ball. Soranke, it might be, and did just enough defensively. So no deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Chance to cross. intelligently and Chelsea get the decision from the referee Senesi Christie Kleibert. Well, Bournemouth couldn't keep it. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Senesi. Here's Kleibert. Christie, and here now is Lewis Cook. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, the cross. 
cross that time completely overcooked. Jackson on the ball. Can he find the right pass? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. That's useful play. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the Vitality Stadium. I might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Kunku takes it on. A oh, tremendous block. And Kunku. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Over it comes. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Opportunity. And the volley onto the woodwork. I think he was a bit unlucky there. Well, you can say he's a bit unfortunate, but I think he should be hitting the target and scoring there. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Bournemouth yes, taking on Brighton. Well, as you can see, Chelsea have dominated the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, that one has promise. Nkunku. Oh, what an opportunity. And there is the goal that gives them a world errors in lead. It had been coming. Well, let's take another look. And it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be well just to point you in the right direction we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV it's Chelsea facing Aston Villa I'm really looking forward to that two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair Badi Achille. Enzo Fernandez, Caicedo. Fine build up as they look to add to their advantage. What can Chelsea do from this position? Great defending! Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. Well, they have been getting three substitutes warmed up. 
And by the look of it, all three are coming on. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Caicedo. He could pick out a teammate. Able to deal with the threat. Chelsea regaining possession here. Chelsea looking dangerous. James. Opportunity here. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Arons. A good vision there. playing fluid football but then the foul and now you would anticipate a yellow card well the referee has taken note of his name and number well i think he can count himself a bit unlucky there but it was certainly a foul said about that the better I think just 10 minutes to go Benoit Badiashim Fernandez Tucker completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. But it is a yellow card for accumulation of offences. Well, it was only a matter of time. He's been on the edge for quite a while now. And he did well to cut it out. the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick <laughs> Philip Billing Fevre will just listen to this crowd they want a bit more. They know there's still plenty of time to find an equaliser. Surely they get another chance. Maybe two. And that'll be a Bournemouth throw. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. They will have four minutes of stoppage time. Sini Stero. That's the challenge that was required. Jackson. Here's Chilwell. So the final whistle, and what we can say officially now is that Chelsea have picked up maximum points from this fixture. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent. And he fully deserved to score that winning goal.